of the Australian four-wheel drive teams of Bruce Fullerton pulling up. He's joint entered. His car's eligible for both the World Championship and the East Coast Bull Bars National Four-Wheel Drive Series. So we're now waiting for our two-wheel drive competitors to come through. They've had the three stages and they're repeating them again this afternoon. It's got a bit overcast here and actually quite cool. So it was warm this morning, overcast. The locals tell us we're not expecting rain till maybe this evening. So the rain, rain may hold off. Another chance for us to speak to the teams at the end of this very difficult stage. It's difficult not to be able to push, and uh, but you know we've got a minute lead now and uh, pretty comfortable. So just looking, for, looking forward to Saturday and Sunday. It's come overcast and the temperature's down, which will assist with that tire management, hopefully. Yeah, fortunately, we need, we need a bit of rain, probably, uh, which is due, I think, overnight or in the morning, which would help for sure. When it's uh, nice and quiet out here in the forest, your car is sounding sensational through there. It's sounding really strong. Yeah, look, it feels good too. Um, we haven't been pushing it as hard as we'd like, but, you know, it's still a tough event, eh? You, the ruts in there are unbelievable. You're just bouncing off everything. You can drive by the ragged edge, but you may not finish. Yeah, that was much better. Uh, we made a few suspension adjustments um, in that last service, and the car feels awesome. Got a harder tyre; it wasn't going off. Um, just looks like, unfortunately, Tony's got the same problem because we we're catching we were stuck in some dust there at one point. Almost had a moment in our same corner because it couldn't see. But um, yeah, look, feeling really bad, much better than this morning. Nice and tidy in there now. That was good fun. That one. So, <laughs> car was good. A little adjustment uh, then. Uh, got a little bit more traction in the back now, so I'll be able to push a bit harder through corners. Gave me a lot of confidence, but um, beautiful stage. Yeah. How was that one, mate? Terrible, terrible. We were on it, we were on it, and four times in there we had to stop, pull over on the side of the road, wait for the fuel, and then start back up and off we went again. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm so disappointed. The car is so fast through there. In the bits that the people saw that look good, it will be awesome, and the rest of it, we just stopped sitting on the side of the road waiting to go. What did you do in service that you thought it might have been? New fuel pump, checked all the wiring, don't know. Now you've been averaging a uh, problem per stage at the moment. There's a bit of grass in there, mate. Tell me you've had a good run in there. Um, we had a off on the third corner. Uh, we put some new shocks in the rear, and I just didn't do what I expected to over that crest. <laughs> so we probably ended up a car wheel off the road. Luckily, there was nothing in there. Yeah. Um, but other than that, the car's feeling right. It's still overheating. Um, what did you try and do at service to cure that overheating? What do you think it might be? The fan's supposed to cut out at 120 on a normal road car. So we've upped that to 180 now um, to keep the fan running all the time nearly. Um, but it still hasn't helped. So I'm nearly tempted to just pull the front bumper off and <laughs> get some air in there. Yeah.